Okay, we're at the point where we have scanned the document in and we are now going to open the document. And then we, what we have is State Alaska Real Estate Property Disclosure Transfer Statement. And here's the deal about it. We could lose a page. We don't know where it came from. It could say something, maybe digging into the file and we go back. But the best way to know where something comes from is to have a digital signature on it. So, we go to the sign and certify area and we're going to place the signature. We can put it anywhere. We can put it over the whole thing, like this. I'll do it for just drama. Well, maybe again. It says, yeah, it does allow me to do that. Wherever I can put a rectangle, it says that my digital signature. This is a signed transaction and encrypted document. Greg Erkins of Greg Erkins, Greg at emailrealty.com, whose signature is valid till 5, May 21st, 2012 at 9.01. Appearance is going to be in standard text. I guess that's my only choice. And it, it tells who it's signed at. And it tells when I signed it. 1 January 29th, 2008 at 4.48 and 26 seconds. And, oh, okay, minus, that's what that means, minus 9. 9 hours. Okay, we don't have Zulu time. So that the, we are in, uh, well, I guess we are minus 9 from Universal Time, UTC, or Zulu time. Now, Greenwich means time. So, we're going to sign it at that 4.48.26, and that's minus 9 hours. So, and the reason it's got zero zero is there's time zones with half hours. So, you sign it. You then save it, and I'll just put, I put SGN usually, dot PDF. The reason I do that is it, uh, it tells me I have a signature. Sometimes I put DDS, DSGN, I mean, digital, digital signature. Click Save. And the document is being saved, is being certified. <laughs> And of course, I put it all over the front page there. Right there, it says I digitally signed it. Now, of course, it could have been up here in the little corner. If I click on this anywhere, it says a valid signature is valid. Signed by Greg Erkins. Greg at emailrealty.com says this document has not been modified since the signature was applied. The document is signed by the current user. Legal notice tells you about the legal notice. You evaluate the document, but there's a lot that can be said about a digitally signed document, especially if, if you ever heard of the best evidence. This is going to be better evidence than somebody that just signed or passed something along that wasn't digitally signed. So you try to avoid things in the future by doing things now, and yes, that's mine. If I were to... Let's say we're going to save this, close it out, and let's just open it again, and we'll go to, there it is, there it is. Now let's say there's a page over here, and I delete this page. This operation is not allowed because the document is signed. I don't know if you can read that, but that, take my word for it, is not allowed. Now, if I did something, let's, if I added something, maybe if I tried to add something to the document, well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's not going to let me do anything. Uh, extract page. Okay, so I can extract, delete after, see if I can do that. Separate files, okay, okay. Sure you want to delete? Yes. Ah, now I did do something. You know, I guess there's probably ways to do a lot of different things. I'm just going to save that on the desktop. Go back. Oh. I'll just save on the desktop. Okay. Extracted it over there. Did it allow me to delete it? I don't know. Close it. And save changes. Yes. Okay. Now save changes. Now we're going to open it up again. And we'll go to. Actually, we can see where we had it. Sign there. Did it change? Let's click on that. Oh, look at this. It's got a little yellow thing up here. We click on this thing right here at the top, yellow. Now it says, 
signature is valid, signed by Gray Erkins, the revision of the document that was covered by the signature has not been altered. However, there have been subsequent changes to the document. The document is signed by the current user. Click signature properties and then click view signature version to see what is covered by the signature. Well, the properties are not available, reason why it was changed, all these little things. Uh, they happen, and it may be a valid reason for ch for changing something, but there's no way to know unless you do it properly, and that's what we try to do at Email Realty. The best service and using the most up-to-date, technologically items, computers, tools are actually these are tools because it comes from me and then it goes to my set of tools, just like a shovel, you know. This is my tool. This is my computer. This is my document. This is, I'm controlling this. I'm doing this to protect my clients and customers. It doesn't matter. It's, I do not want to see anything um, go wrong with your transaction. And I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this.